The team that I work with, the Healthy Transitions Program, we have six staff, and honestly, they're amazing people. <laughs> they're amazing people. They're quirky, they're creative, they have a lot of energy. We all get along, we all love to laugh and play, we do lunches together. We love lunches, we love food. We have to go in and we have to crack jokes. We have to um, bring them donuts. I just got yelled at for that earlier today, I forgot a donut. You know, that's the little silly things that make a difference with our young adults. It's really the perfect personality mix for the individuals that we're serving in the program. I think this population, the 16 to 25 year old, they have take out the mental health issues, take out the addiction issues, they have their own challenges. It's hard being that age, it's hard transitioning into adulthood without extra barriers. Prior to the existence of Healthy Transition, there was not a program that served this young population. Healthy Transitions bridges that gap. These are kind of life skills that a lot of young adults, especially with behavioral health challenges, struggle with. They could help me with all sorts of things, you know finding out like what I want to do career-wise, even as far as like helping out with housing. You have to have the right kind of person to work in this field. Because I don't think young adults, youth in particular, they don't want the sterile suit and tie, tell me about your feelings. They want somebody to, that they can relate to quickly. And if you have a sense of humor, it's not engage in an office setting, but engage in, in, the, in the field at a Starbucks. We're gonna go to the school and walk around with them. We're gonna go to the DMV and sit in that line with them and, and help them apply for things. Every new person that comes in, comes in with a new set of challenges, uh, a new family dynamic. And I've watched some of these youth really struggle with the compounding issues in their lives. It was a lot of heartbreaking, oh boy, heartbreaking stuff to watch somebody just kind of unravel like, like he did. We think that working with the young adult population, you have a chance of shaping a person's future. Well, my first main social worker was Julie. So when we met him, he was, uh, he had dropped out of college. After about a year in the program, he and I sat down together and we kind of worked on a bunch of different things. She's great. I mean, you know, she's the one who toured the welding facility with me. And she was always, you know, texting me, checking up on me, requiring me to come three times a month. I think it's just that partnership that really makes an impact. And he's actually gainfully employed and has been for quite some time. So he actually um, graduated from our program. He's doing really well, so we're very proud of him. It's always rewarding to let them learn on their own, help create self-sufficiency in them, and see that they can accomplish things that they never thought was possible. Things that I never thought that I would ever be able to do, I'm doing now, and it feels great. What makes me happy is seeing them succeed and knowing that we made a difference. Humanum has definitely like helped me get on that pathway of being successful. We all just care about people. We love working with people, we love helping people. I really truly believe that everybody has a chance to live whatever life that they want to. I think that's kind of what separates them. I see a, just a, a great amount of passion for their work and desire to help our young adults achieve the best result they can.